Let's hear now from Seth Kaplan with Airline Weekly. But I don't I do. I agree completely with the vice president. Now, I know they've renovated parts of the terminal, Seth, but overall, LaGuardia needs help. It does. Yeah. And you're right, Brian. You know, I, I flew through that new Delta terminal or the renovated Delta terminal just a couple of weeks ago. And, and it's as nice as anything you'll see anywhere. You, you order your food and drinks on touch screens and all that. Actually, a model for some others. But you're right. Certainly the central terminal, which although we don't know all the details yet, presumably what we're going to hear about today. Yeah, it, it needs it needs an upgrade. But you got to do it in a cost effective way, because let's face it, you know, passengers, sure, all things being equal, we'd like a nice modern facility. They need to modernize it, but we're not willing to pay infinite amounts of money. People choose on price and schedule, not glamorous airport terminals, first and foremost. Yeah, and you wonder, you know, listen, I'm a big infrastructure guy and I agree with the build out and I think they need to do it. But I also would like to see the New York area improve Stewart, which is an, which is an old Air Force base about 60 miles north. There are some commercial flights out of there. If you were going to pick a spot to build a major airport, LaGuardia, probably the single worst spot you can pick. The roads are terrible. There's no easy way to get there. Why not also focus on building a major fourth or even fifth airport around this area? Yeah, but if anything, Brian, LaGuardia really proved that what people value most is convenience, is proximity. I, I mean, it's, it's kind of a victim of its own success, right? It is right there, right across the Triborough Bridge from Manhattan. And that's why people like it, despite all its faults. And so, you know, part you, we kind of have to be careful when we say, oh, you know, you could go around the world to, you know, what, what Biden called third world countries, you know, the developing world and see all these gleaming terminals. I mean, uh, there are a lot of lovely airport terminals in rural China, uh, you know, basically white elephants that nobody's using and somebody paid for those. And so, you know, again, you have to do it. And, and to be clear, I'm glad they're doing this, but you have to do it in a way that makes sense where it, you know, it's commensurate with the additional value that's going to provide. And there are a few airports in the world that people value more than LaGuardia. Yes, but and that's you, you because don't, of its proximity. You don't, you, LaGuardia is more domestic, but you don't get a second chance to make a first impression. You got a lot of people coming excited to see America from all over the world. And the first thing they see is Newark Airport. Just turn around yeah, and, and go back home. Right? I mean, because <laughs> if you see Newark Airport, it's time you think this is America. I'm in Dubai. If I dropped a piece of pizza on the floor, I'd pick it up and eat it. I, that yeah, maybe says I, more about me than, than the Dubai airport. So <laughs> we got to leave it there. Thank you very much. <laughs>